Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm on Nerds here, and today I have a tutorial on how to make a 3D grid effect in Adobe After Effects. So before we get started, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating, for those of you who don't know. So I've used this effect on my Dimension Theater intro. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It adds to the intro. It's just basically a 3D grid in the background. And yeah, you can make it whatever color you want. It's kind of a Tron style. And yeah, it's a pretty cool effect. You can use it for intros. You can use it for anything else. So let's get started. So we're going to go into Adobe After Effects. And to start, we're just going to do Layer, New, Solid. Click OK. So there we go. We got our Solid. And now we're going to add the Grid effect onto it. So we're going to go to Effect generate and go down to grid so that's looking okay we're gonna need to tweak a few settings to make it look like it did in the preview but that's okay so first of all for the border I'm gonna type in 2 this is just basically gonna decrease the width of the lines of this grid so that's looking pretty good and for the color obviously you guys can use whatever color you'd like I'm just gonna use a green Alright, so we got our grid, looks okay, but we gotta rotate it so it looks three dimensional. So to edit it in 3D space, we're gonna go to layer and click 3D layer while making sure our layer is selected. And now we can open this up, open up transform, and we're just simply gonna type in 95 for the X rotation. This is just going to rotate the layer at a 95 degree angle, so it's almost flat. So that's looking pretty good. But now we just have to scale it up so it connects to the camera. So before we edit the scale, we're just going to click this button. And that's going to unconstrain the proportions so we can edit each one of these scale values individually. So for the first one, on the left, we're just going to type in 150. And that's just going to spread it out to the width of the screen and for the second one we're going to type in 400 this is going to make it connect with the camera so that's looking pretty good and we can leave the last value as it is so this is looking pretty good for our grid effect we're basically done but a few things we can do to make it look a little bit better first of all we can go to effect stylize and we can add a glow which makes it look a little bit cooler. And another thing we can do is fade this out at the back because it kind of ends dramatically and it doesn't fade out. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to add a new solid. So we're going to go to Layer, New, and click on Solid. And make sure the color is black and click OK. So now we have this layer blocking the grid. And we're basically just going to mask it out so it only blocks part of the grid the end of the grid and it's just gonna fade out. So we're gonna get this rectangle tool right here and if it doesn't start out rectangle just put it on rectangle and we can start somewhere like the far left we're just gonna make a rectangle that goes about two-thirds down to the screen or a little bit less than two-thirds something like this so that looks pretty good but it still cuts it off so we want this to fade so we're going to open up the mask and for the mask feather we're just going to type in 100 pixels and now this fades out our grid you might want to move this layer down a little bit a little bit less a little less alright that's looking pretty good so yeah guys take a look at the grid effect it looks pretty cool feel free to use it on your intros or whatever else. So thanks for watching guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, please thumbs up the video. I appreciate it and it motivates me to make more tutorials for you guys. And if you want to comment and request a tutorial or just tell me how nice a guy I am for making this, feel free to do so. Uh, thanks for watching guys and have a nice day.